The Big Storm, a very soggy counting book by Nancy Tafuri. The sky started to turn gray. Dark black clouds started to gather. Bird flew for cover. Now there was one in the hill hollow. The wind started to blow. Mouse ran for cover. Now there were two in the hill hollow. Leaves started to swirl. Squirrel ran for cover. Then there were three in the hill hollow. Lightning started to crack. Rabbit ran for cover. Then there were four in the hill hollow. Rain started to fall. Chipmunk ran for cover. And this made five in the hill hollow until thunder started to rumble and grumble. Woodchuck, raccoon, possum, and red fox all ran for cover. Now there were six, seven, eight, nine in the hill hollow. And then skunk squeezed in and made it 10. 10 critters huddled together tight and snug while the clouds gathered. The wind blew, the leaves swirled, the lightning cracked, the rain fell, and the thunder rumbled and grumbled all night long. At last it was morning and the sky was clear, but all 10 could still hear a rumble and a grumble in the air. So they turned and found the sound was coming from two bears. Rumble, grumble, rumble, grumble. Out they flew before the bears got their scent. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Away they all went. And what did they find? The big storm had turned into a very big, beautiful day. The end. Stormy weather can be scary. The wind picks up, it starts to rain. Sometimes it thunders and there's lightning. The rain itself becomes very challenging for many, many animals. Animals pretty much have to just deal with the rain. They have to find a place to go. Unlike us, if we want to, we can just stay inside and watch the rain from a window in our nice dry homes. Animals have different places they go to stay dry in the rain or they have ways to stay dry because of the way their bodies and their outer coverings are. So for example, a bird in heavy rain will often just find a branch to sit on till the rain is done. Those birds don't really fly until it becomes drier, but animals like ducks can always be wet because their feathers are designed to stay wet. All they have to do is shake that extra rain off and go on with their day. Other birds like this heron just stand in the rain and endure it until the rain ends. Some animals live underneath the ground for most of the time, so they don't have to deal with the rain other than the rain getting into their tunnels like this mouse. A field mouse spends most of its time in a hole under the ground unless it's out and about looking for food. Once it's out and about, it's exposed so other animals might find it. 
but when it rains, it usually hides in its hole. Some animals live in holes in trees, so when it rains, they hide in those holes. But like the squirrel, they don't always have to hide in the hole because they want to look for food. So the squirrel will use its big bushy tail to cover it and keep it from getting wet. The tail itself might get wet, but the squirrel's body stays warm and dry because its tail acts like a raincoat for it. Some animals can't climb trees, so they have to find a place to hide from the rain on the ground. If they can't find a place to hide on the ground, their fur coat helps them to stay warm and dry. Many animals have two layers to their fur coat, the top layer helping them to stay dry, the undercoat helping them to stay warm. When their coat isn't enough to keep them dry and the rain becomes too heavy, They'll use the leaves on plants to help protect them from the rain. They'll tuck themselves down underneath the plant and let the leaves catch the rain so it protects them and gives them shelter. Animals like chipmunks are kind of the same as a squirrel with being able to use their long fluffy tail to help cover their backs and protect them when it rains. But for the most part, a chipmunk will hide underneath the leaves on the ground or they will go back inside of their tunnels if the rain becomes too much for them to handle. The groundhog is another animal that spends most of its time underneath the ground in a tunnel. It spends all of the winter underneath the ground in its tunnel, but in the spring and the summertime, it starts to come out looking for food. When it gets caught by rain, it typically goes back inside of its tunnel so that it doesn't have to get wet. Many animals use plants to help them to stay dry because the plant's leaves catch the rain and create somewhat of an umbrella for the animals to be able to stay out of the rain. But an animal like the raccoon who likes to go in the water to search for its food, will often just stay outside in the rain unless it gets really windy and rainy and dangerous. In that case, he'll go back inside of his hole in his tree and wait for the storm to stop. This is an example of an animal with the double coat I discussed earlier where they have the overcoat or guard hairs that help to protect them from the rain and the snow. And then the undercoat underneath helps to keep them warm. The red fox typically just curls up underneath a tree or someplace protected, especially under a pine tree that might keep them dry when the rain becomes too much for them to handle they use their warm fluffy tail as a place to keep their face and their nose warm and dry during the time that it's cold or rainy. Skunks are another animal that will use either a hole in the ground or the plants around them to help protect them from the rain. They do have a fluffy tail, but it's not big enough to completely cover their back like the squirrel and the chipmunk. And finally, the bear has such a thick coat of fur that it doesn't have to pay any attention to the rain at all. The bear is able to look for food, climbing trees, playing with its siblings in the rain and not having to pay any attention to the rain at all which kind of makes it like us because we don't have to pay attention to the rain if we don't want to. But when it is a good day to get outside and play, it's fun to go and play in the puddles of the rain. It's fun to be able to wear our rubber boots and our raincoats and our hats and jump in the puddles. Knowing that we can always go back inside and get warm and dry makes it a lot more fun for us to go outside 
and play in the rain, whether we're jumping in the puddles or whether we're running around in circles, kicking the water, or just enjoying the rain as it falls down from the sky. Once the storm has ended, we can always look for that rainbow and wait for the warm, sunny skies to return instead. <laughs>